The 12th Imam, known as the Mahdi, when he returns, they believe, he will usher in peace under Islam, but only after intense periods of warfare, conflict, and chaos. A certain number of Shia Muslims believe they can hasten the Mahdi's return by creating those conditions. Within the 12er Shiite world, there is an extremist organization in Iran uh, called the Hojatiya group. And there are several of these groups uh, in the Iranian system. Uh, they believe that when the 12th Imam comes as the Mahdi, uh, this new era begins, and they believe they can accelerate his arrival by creating global chaos. President Ahmadinejad is on record as stating he believes his mission is to pave the way for the Mahdi's return. Today we're going to be talking about Iran with John Hogan. John's website is hogprophecy.com. Okay, John, uh, there is a new e-book up, I believe, uh, called Nostradamus, The War with Iran. Why don't you tell us a little bit about where we are right now? Prophet Nostradamus, who has long spoken about the importance of Iran, the importance of a return of uh, a Jewish nation, and how these two, uh, in combination with this strange riddle of a true serpent as a symbol for the invaders, the true serpent is an invader that comes through Carmania's coast, which is the Strait of Hormuz. The true serpent is the, the original Navy Jack of the United States Navy during the American Revolution. That back on September 11, 2002, the first year anniversary of the 911 disaster, George W. Bush, the President of the United States, had designated that all Navy ships fly uh, that flag until the end of the war of terror is upon them. There's something absolutely fascinating here, John. There's a mystery. Back in the 15th century, a man uses this phrase. Now, forward in the 21st century, another man, completely seemingly unconnected to him, has the idea to put that flag on these ships, thus identifying the ships with the prophecy. What do you think happened? How did that happen? Uh, the political advisor of the president, the president himself, is a great reader of prophecy and is trying to uh, self-fulfill prophecy. In fact, that's a tradition that's in the Judeo tradition, Judeo-Christian prophetic tradition, to politicize prophecy, to try to make things happen.